The car payment can be put in the wait and pay next month, pal. What about telephone bill? Are you kidding? If I didn't pay that, we'd have to bury Kelly. What? Oh, nothing. Well, I was just wondering, is it normal in most marriages that is for the wife to pay the bills? Well, I don't know what's normal for other people who someday might get married. But uh, I always have and always will. Why? Well, Collier says the truth hurts too much. He knows we can't afford to pay him. I don't understand men. I will never understand men. It's called denial, Renee, and they all do it. Is today the 28th? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. I mean, what? Yesterday was Bobby's birthday. I always go visit him on his birthday. How could I forget? I mean, hold on, I'm coming with you. Bobby would have been 27 yesterday. I could have been a grandma by now. What a thought. I wish you could have met him, heard him laugh. Kelly has his eyes, Davis has his smile. God. <laughs> Where the hell is my son? Bobby Sims, he was right over there. Let the man in the suit go. Now, you answer her damn question, you make it good, because I'm a lawyer. Uh, yes, of course. Apparently, there's been a mistake. There are certain places where people are not allowed to make mistakes. I agree wholeheartedly, Mrs. Sims. But it wasn't our mistake. I don't give a damn whose mistake it was. I want to know where my son is. As the new owners of this facility, we've uncovered, we've discovered a number of inconsistencies regarding who was buried in some of the plots, and... For 22 years, I've been visiting my son here, and now he is gone. I think that's more than a little inconsistency. I don't believe he just got up and walked away. Uh, well, no, not exactly. But what exactly did happen? Mrs. Sims, your son was never buried there in the first place. For 20 years, I thought I was talking to Bobby. Now I found out I've been chatting it up with some old man named Walter. Well, welcome to the family, Walter. Amy, are you all right? Oh, me? Oh, well, I'm fine, yes. As for Bobby, well, that's hard to say since the last time anybody saw him, he was laying in the bottom of the swimming pool while Collier and I were inside adding mayonnaise to the potato salad. Amy, don't do this to you. Tell me something. Why does it take two people to measure one tablespoon of mayonnaise? Answer, it doesn't. I don't know why we couldn't have just brought potato chips. Everybody loves potato chips. Three minutes, maybe two. Definitely not more than three. Collier and I walk into a backyard full of people stuffing their faces and kids splashing everywhere and Bobby dead. What time is it? What? It's a simple question, Renee. What time is it? I'm gonna be late for work. Then be late. You've got to go home and talk to Collier. Collier? Collier? Hey, Shug. So what century do you think we'll actually have clean running water coming out of that faucet again? I'm figuring sometime in the early 21st. Can you see my hat? Left of the blender, right of the bananas. I'll wait up. I'll be late. Thank you, and I'll have Miss Jackson call you back if she has any further questions. I checked out Northside Cemetery. The new owners are legitimate. They've been in Birmingham since 1910. Thanks. You have to return about 18 calls. He is fine. Yeah, well, he's in the doghouse now. What did this one do? Ask me how many men I've been with before him. What did you tell him? The truth. Ouch. <laughs> Boyfriend couldn't handle the truth. Uh, she's right, you know. 
We always prefer you lie to us. Joe, what are you doing in here? Going through your magazine. Lakeisha, why didn't you warn me? Sorry, boss. Isn't an ambulance somewhere waiting for you to chase it? Fine. I'll go. But can I borrow this? You're not taking that to the bathroom, are you? Why not? Bill used to do that. Why do men do that? They have something to read. But don't you realize it's like advertising where you're going? We don't need to know that. It's disgusting. Actually, it's quite natural. In fact, we do some of our best thinking there. Keep it. Just the thought of it. Wait. You said that men prefer a lie rather than the truth? Why? Because the truth hurts too much, Renee. Our egos are very fragile. It's our biggest secret, you know. You know, I could help you. You help me? How? I could teach you about men. The way we think, how we think, and with what we think. I don't think I want to know. Sure you do. You're not asking me out, are you, Joe? No. Well, yes, but not out, out. You know, only as friends. Friends? Friends. Chums. Buddies. OK, only as friends, because never, ever. Oh, no, absolutely not. Ray, never. Ray, 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 I, I, you do have to go. Thanks for the magazine. Now, Mama, don't forget your lady's home journal. Daddy's waiting. Uh, I am coming, dear. You better hurry. Uh, Teresa, Mayor Elizabeth is your responsibility. I expect you to keep an eye on her over at your grandmother's. Of course, Mother. I'm looking forward to spending some special time with my little sister. Let go of me. A and if for any reason your grandmother needs Johnny, the number's on the fridge. Oh, yes, Mother. Now, you go and have fun at that exciting hardware convention. You don't want to be late. Uh, OK, bye. Now get lost, Spell. But wait, Teresa, I still have to pack my bag. Oh, Luke. Oh, baby. Oh, brother. It's called the French kiss, Mary Elizabeth, but actually, it's not French at all. But why do they use their tongues? Yeah, what if one of them has to swallow or something? Well, before we consider that, why don't you girls start with this cake? Well, I explain the origin of the most romantic of all kisses. Although it was in France that the first French kiss occurred, it was the Bavarian Queen Lathena who cast the spell. Was she an evil queen, Grandma? Not evil so much, Mary Elizabeth, as she was jealous and afraid that her royal knight might wander off into the forest with another maiden, if you understand my meaning. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So the spell, which was originally called the French Kiss of Death, was cast. Why do they call it that? Because, dear, if memory serves, the Queen's spell went like this. The man whose tongue is touched by mine while standing upon a grave in time will forever be a part of me and I a part of him. So count to ten while side by side and thoughts of love will never end. Wow. Expecting a torrential storm this evening as the barometer is rising. Should get up to uh, six inches. That was Rock the Boat. This is Birmingham's favorite radio station. <laughs> Carla, what were you doing? Oh, you, that boat? you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was a baby with my rat with my hand at that oh, time. I don't, oh. yeah. I don't believe that. <laughs> You're up. We need a shovel. And me? What are you doing? Are you out coming here? or not? We gotta have a shovel. Come on, we gotta find Bobby. You're scaring me. Come on, out of the rain. No. Get in here. Why didn't you come to Bobby's funeral? What? I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me right now. Because I was young and stupid. And how did you find out? Who told you my son was dead? And me? Who told you? Mama called me at college. Did you think of calling me? Yes, I did. And what? You you were studying? You had a test or you had a sorority party? You know what? 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 I'm, I'm not going to talk to you about this right you now. You sure as hell are. You weren't here when I buried my son. By God, you're going to help me find him right now. I mean, what can I do to help you? Why don't you start by saying you're sorry? You're sorry Bobby died. Sorry I wasn't there to hold your hand when you were watching your son's coffin being lowered into the ground. I'm sorry. <gasps> I forgot his birthday.
always wondered how people did it, looking in an open casket. It's so creepy. But I just had to kiss him one more time. Put my cheek against his. His hair was so soft. Now, that's one thing. Call your head right. People should not have to see their five-year-old son wearing cheap lipstick and rouge before they bury him. Can I stay here tonight? Don't you want to go home and be with Collier? Surprise! I didn't tell him. I mean, why? Well, you know, you're not the only one who didn't come to Bobby's funeral. <laughs> oh, you missed some classic early Collier that day. I mean, actually, he, he did show up at the funeral, but he was so drunk he couldn't walk, so... I had to haul off and slap him a good one in front of the priest and everything, and he left. People grieve in different ways. Don't you dare make excuses for him. I have visited Bobby hundreds and hundreds of times, and Collier has never, ever once gone to his son's grave. Not once. It's like losing him all over again. Except this time he really is lost. Hello? Yes, she's here. She's fine. Hold on. It's Collier. Tell him to drop dead. I am not going to tell him that. Emmy, I don't want to be caught in the middle of this. I think you already are. She doesn't want to talk to you right now. Ask him what yesterday was. Emmy! Go on. Ask him, and then I'll talk to him. She says she wants me to ask you what yesterday was. He says Wednesday. Yesterday? You think our parents do it? Nah, they only use their lips. I wonder if it tickles. You don't really think touching tongues is gonna keep you and Collier together forever, do you? There's only one way to find out, except how am I gonna get him there? Maybe you should just tell him the truth. A buried treasure? Yep. In a cemetery at Nightmare, Elizabeth? Uh-huh. And according to this map I got from my grandma Otis, it should be right over there by old man Morgan's grave. Oh, man, why'd you have to go and bring him along? Because he's scared. I am not. R2. He is not. Maybe I should wait over there. You and Tully? Oh. We'll whistle if we see anyone coming, okay, Emmy? You know I'm not afraid, Mary Elizabeth. I just brought him along so that he could help us carry any gold or jewels or, you know, anything we find. What's that? What's that noise? I think it's coming from over there. Let's find out. No, I don't know about that, Mayor. Let's... Uh, maybe we should be heading back now. What do you say, guys? She's naked. And so is he. Is that what they all look like? Said I'd like to know where you got the nose from. Said I'd like to know where 
You got the no shine to rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. <laughs> hey, Superman, here's your cape. Turn around here. Let me tie this on. Oh, yeah, that is. Thanks, it. Daddy. Oh, you're welcome. Now you look just like Superman, Bobby. Sure, I'll be in the kitchen. Mama, look, my finger. Daddy kissed it, but it still hurts. I have an idea. There. Now it's all better. It is? Yeah. Did I get it wet now? Elizabeth, can you help me with this potato salad in here? Wait right there for Daddy and me, and we'll all go swimming together. Okay, Mommy. Good boy. Up, up, and away! have to go home now. Why didn't you tell me about Bobby? That's not the first time he forgot his birthday. It's about his grave. The cemetery called. Did they find him? Not yet. again? I had one drink last night. Well, it must have been a 64-ounce big gulp. You're just trying to get away from Bobby all over again, aren't you, Collier? It's not Bobby I need to get away from. Where the hell are you going? Out! Would you finally say goodbye to your son or to start drinking again? Well, I'll tell you something. I'm not scraping you up off the floor this time. And I'm not throwing your pills down the toilet this time. Mary Elizabeth, you can sleep for a year for all I care. I don't feel... some water. I said I'm fine. What the hell's wrong with you? Nothing. Wait a minute. Come back here. What? Sit down. I said, come back here and sit down, and I mean it. Sit down. Now. Why are you acting this way? Acting like what? Why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling at Mom? What'd she do? She's upset about Bobby. Yeah. Am I here because Bobby's dead? What? Because I was thinking, you know, you and Mom probably wouldn't have wanted or had any more children after Kelly. That's if Bobby was still alive, you know? You don't believe that, do you? Well, you know, everybody wants a boy and a girl, you know? So I know that with Bobby and Kelly and you and Mom, it's like you already had both. Please, sit down. Davis, you are my son. And if for one second of your life, you felt that this family would be complete without you or that you are here because your brother is not. I am sorry if I did anything to make you feel that way. When I was your age, I wanted a brother. I never got one. 
When your mother and I got married, I wanted a boy and a girl and a brother for each of them. Trust me, Davis, when I tell you that a father can never have too many sons. <laughs> the best times in my life are when we do guy things together, like play baseball, go hunting. You gotta go to school. Will you drive me? Let's go. <laughs> so, great lunch crowd, huh? You notice the temperature in this restaurant, Renee? Yeah, it's freezing. That's because it's actually a meat market. Lesson number one, men are always hungry for new meat. Try the burgers. This was a mistake. I've been up for most of the night. I'm not ready for no, this. No, 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 please, please, please. Sit down. Think of me as Professor Lausanne. <laughs> OK. Ask me anything. Well, where shall I start? OK. I've had men as lovers. Well, certainly. You're a beautiful and sexy woman. That's to be expected. How many exactly? That's not the point, Joe. No, of course not. The point is? The point is, it's been a while since I've had a man as a friend. Now, why is it so hard for a lover to also be a friend? I see. That, 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 that is a problem. To have a man as a friend, you have to start thinking like a man. Are you willing to try that? Sure. Good. All right, let's see. When you look at the men in this place, what do you see? I don't know. It depends on the man I'm looking at. Wrong. How can that be wrong? Because men think the same thing no matter what woman we look at. We wonder whether or not we'd be willing to sleep with her. Oh, that can't be true. Actually, you're right, because the answer to that question is always yes. The only thing that varies is under what circumstances. Circumstances? One drink or two, early in the evening, or last call, on vacation, or close to home. These are all considerations, but the outcome is predetermined. What planet are you from? You still don't get it? Get what? What the hell are you talking about? It's like the mountain, Renee. If it's in front of them, men will climb on top of it. Oh, that's it. I've had enough. You're wrong. Pigs! Exactly. That's lesson number two. I don't even think about it. Hey, Lakeisha. Hey. You've got a 3 o'clock with Judge Miller, a 5 o'clock hair appointment, and Miss Sims is waiting for you inside. Kelly? I'm sorry to bother you at work, Renee. That's okay. Is everything all right? No. Sit down, honey. What's going on? Do you know my brother, Bobby? No, I never actually met him. Mom's been kind of upset. I know. How can you love someone you didn't even know? Mom says I have his eyes. Then I know he must have been very beautiful. We don't even talk about him anymore. We used to, and I think it's because of me that we don't. Honey, that's not true. Your parents are going through a very difficult time. You don't understand. I, I got mad once, Renee, and, and I told my mom I didn't want to hear about Bobby anymore. Because, you know, for a while it was always Bobby everything. And, and I think I was nine, and I said it, and I didn't mean it. Honey, she knows that. I'm scared. Dad said something about Mom taking pills, and she's been in bed all day. Get up. I said, get up, and I meant it. Mm. Listen to me. I wasn't here for you the first time you went through it, but damn it, I am here now. Go away. Are you taking pills? Emmy, I want the truth. No. I'm depressed, OK? When I'm depressed, this is what it looks like, and this is what I do. I sleep. Not anymore, you dumb. We used to read Bobby stories, you know, at bedtime, stories that I had written, children's stories. When he died, uh, I stopped writing everything. And so even to be able to start writing again makes me feel guilty. 
honey, you're healing. Just because you don't feel the same pain you did 20 years ago doesn't mean you don't care. I tried to talk to Collier about it, but he wouldn't. Not a word. So I left him for six months. I thought you told me that you and Collier had never been apart for more than a few days. Well, that's, that's true, except for those six months that we were separated. Where'd you go? To bed. For six months? What got you out of bed? Got full of bed sores. <laughs> Oh, I finally realized that I could lay there in bed and cry and sleep and cry and sleep for the rest of my life, but it wasn't going to bring Bobby back. And then I realized that even without Bobby, I still loved Collier. Well, that hasn't changed, has it? You still love Collier. And there's a little girl down the hall who really needs her mother. Can I come in? I'm supposed to be in school. Aren't you supposed to be getting ready for work? I feel bad about Bobby. Me too. Because sometimes I, I think I only have one brother, but I know I really have two. I always wanted a big brother. I know. <laughs> what? Oh, I was just remembering when Bobby was around four, he used to tell me over and over again, Mom, I want a baby. Could we have a, a, a baby, a, a little one with a bow and hair, a pink bow on top of her little pretty girl baby's head? Oh, he would have loved his little sister. Teresa, is that you, dear? Yes, Grandma. What's wrong, honey? Oh, nothing, Grandma. In fact, everything's absolutely wonderfully wonderful. Oh, it is, is it? Oh, my. What's his name? Luke. He's your first, isn't he? Yes, Mammy is, but I think he loves me, and I know I love him, and he's the best kisser, Grandma. <laughs> well, that's, that's important, dear. Why don't you tell me a little more about Luke, a young man I might add that you'll never, ever be able to forget. Now, you go on upstairs, and I'll be right up. We'll just keep this our little secret, won't we, dear? Yes, Grandma. Anybody home? Teresa? Johnny? It's all clear, Renee. Why can't she go in? We can't. Because she's my best friend and you're stupid. Hello? No, Teresa's not here. Yes, I'll tell her Raymond called. No, I don't know where she is. She ought to tell them to look in the back seat of their car. Tully, I'm warning you. Hello? Tony? Tony who? I don't know when Teresa will be home, Tony. I found it. Hello? No, Teresa's not home. Why are all these boys calling Teresa? Because Teresa did it. No, she didn't. And now she's a tramp. No, she's not. She's a cheerleader. We really have to be going. Call your sums. You get in here and tell me what he's talking about. Well, Mayor Elizabeth, some people are talking about Teresa and that boy at the cemetery. And I mean that she and him, you know, they might have had sex. Your sister done it with them. She did not. Oh. You're still oh. stupid. You won't check this time, Renee. Hello? Joe? What? Where? Can I come in? It's late and I didn't want to ring the doorbell. What are you doing here? My laundry, I hope. But why are you at my house with your underwear? Oh, oh, ew. Because it's what men do, Renee. We go to our friends when our washing machine explodes. So? 
Okay, I just can't think of a reason why not. You know, I've been thinking about you and men, Renee. There's one. The problem is that maybe some of the men you've known recently have been lazy lovers. Wrong again. Wrong. No, no, not lazy like... Oh. I mean, lazy like when in love. Amor. Go ahead. My mama told me there are only two types of men. Men like me, we like the exercise of staying in love. Crazy in love. La vida loca, you understand. Chips. But others are lazy. Mama would say if the desserts of a woman's love isn't served on a warm plate, well, maybe they weren't so hungry in the first place. But, Rene, the difficulty is in knowing which kind of man you are still in love with. And you are still in love with Bill, aren't you? Well, either way, he has to prove he's in love with you. A man's words mean little, but his actions, they always come from the heart. He must come crawling back, knowing he's the luckiest man in the world to have you. I mean, seriously, Rene. You are one fine piece of ass. What? Friends have to be honest with each other, Rene. Out. And those legs? Ooh, Why like... did I waste my time? Rene, what about Out. our friendship? I don't care. No, Rene, I'm very good. Out. Rene, Rene, what, what about my laundry? I'll send it out. Perfect. I wonder how someone can tell if you've done it anyways. Do you have any threes? No, oh, go fish. Maybe it's the way you start talking or acting. Any sevens? Mm, go fish. Teresa was acting kind of goofy last night with Grandma Otis. Do you have any kings? Any queens? Nope. That's when she said something about me keeping it a secret. What kind of secret? Any eights? Go fish. Well, that's the problem. I'm not sure what secret I'm supposed to be keeping, so I might have already told you. Jax? No. Well, what did she say? She said something about Teresa going first with Luke. Going first where? So don't tell anyone, okay? Do you think what Telly said was true? Stupid Telly doesn't know anything. Probably just talking about Teresa, French Kiss and Luke for the first time. Yeah, you're right. Still thinking about French Kiss and Collier? Not if a bunch of boys are gonna start calling me. Renee Jackson, what are you smiling about? Any queens? Queens? But you said I you didn't... one up. Hand them over. Um, but I've got three of them. In the years measured by the stains of salt on a young boy's face, Prince Bobby was only three. But in the land of mystery, where years are measured by smiles, he was a strong and powerful prince. <laughs> the keys to the castle must be found, cried Bobby. But where do I look? Who can I trust? He began to cry. What's going on? These stories are beautiful, Mom. Where'd you find those? Dad got them down for us. What are you doing, Collier? Nothing, Mary Elizabeth. I thought I'd show them your stories, because they want to know more about them, that's all. Oh, well. Then why don't you tell them all you can about Bobby? Maybe why don't you try using your own words this time? Mary Elizabeth. In fact, why don't you start by telling them how much you love Bobby? Because I don't have to. They already know. You're the only one here who doesn't seem to. Well, why don't you tell me, Collier? I really, I just, I want to hear you say it. I just, I, I just, I just need to hear you say his name. Just, just say his name, that's all. Just, just say Bobby. Stop it. Yeah, come on, Mom. Just say Bobby that, Sims. No, that's it. Bobby Sims, don't you run away from me. I've left you before I'll do it again. Collier Sims, you come back down here and talk to me, damn it. Fine, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Davis Kelly, come on. Mom. I said, come on. No. No! We're not leaving, Mom. You and Daddy, you have to work this out, Mom. Bobby's dead. We're not. If you're not going to talk to Davis and Kelly about Bobby, then you're going to have to talk to me. Because this time, I am not going to let you shut down and pretend he never existed. I can't. I can't. Call your please. Don't push me, Mary Elizabeth. You owe it to him. Our son deserves to be remembered as the living, breathing, rocket of energy that he was, that precious little boy who loved to laugh and, and dance and run and sing till he wore us both out because he loved you, Collier, and you loved him. And if we don't talk about him, then all we're ever going to remember is how he died and how that made us feel. Oh, me. I, I can't. So much is already gone. Sometimes I have to look at a picture of Mary Elizabeth just to remember what he looked like. I, I tried, but I can't. I can't. 
I, I can't even remember the last time I told him that I loved him. God. Holly, say it. Tell it. Say no. No! You say it! No! No! You tell Bobby how you feel! Mom, Dad. It's the cemetery. Oh, this is a. That's the Bobby's father. Well, how can you be sure? Yeah. Yeah, he loves Superman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> they found him. They found Bobby Shoot. <laughs> I saw Bobby once. I was home for my dad's birthday in 76. Drove past your house. I wasn't going to stop, but then I saw a little boy playing in the yard. He was chasing butterflies with a big net. Yeah, it was the one Collier made him. Oh. And then he caught one. And even from across the street, I could see he was so proud. Then he let it go. Laughed. <laughs> Just wanted you to know that that I got to hear him laugh. Ow! Daddy, did you hurt your finger again? Yeah, I did, Bobby. But it still works, though. See? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to hand me that wrench there? This one, Daddy? Yeah, that's the one. Is the water working now? Soon, sport. Here's some nails, Daddy. These picks are real good. Oh, thanks, buddy. I'm going to go outside and play now. Hey, you watch out for that kryptonite out there, okay? Go on. Oh, Bobby. Did I tell you that I love you today? Yep. Bye-bye, oh. Daddy. Bye-bye, son. Hi. Oh, those are beautiful. I'll take those, please. Try that one. <laughs> Where's Grandma? I need to 
to speak to her right away. She said she was taking lunch with a gentleman friend. <laughs> Hurt or something? Go away, <laughs> Okay. No way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Teresa? Oh, Mary Elizabeth, look at me. Look what boys can do to you. They tell you they love you, but they don't. You love me, don't you, Mary Elizabeth? Of course I do, Teresa. <laughs> You're my sister. <clears throat> It'll be okay, Teresa. <clears throat> Mom says she always feels better after crying. Washes all kind of things away, she says. So I guess you should keep on crying. I love you too, Spaz. But promise me something, both of you. Promise me you'll never trust them, any of them. Especially those nice ones like that little Collier Sims. Do you understand? Not really. Tell her, Renee. We see the way he looks at you, don't we? Promise me you'll stay away from him, Mary Elizabeth. Okay, I promise. Never done nothing like this before. Yeah, me neither. What if we get caught? We won't. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess. Okay, now. Has it been to a yet? Kaya. Collier? Look at him, Shug. He's beautiful, isn't he? You know I never stopped thinking about him, right? I just didn't know how to say it. Didn't know how to say goodbye. And I'd give anything if he could be here with us. He was my first son. He was our first child, Shug. And I want you to know that I couldn't have got through it without you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I couldn't get through much without you. Look at him. next? Yes, I do. That's our son, Bobby. You flow. 